The strong response to the president's speech went far beyond Capitol Hill. Wednesday's controversial House vote to halt delaying deportation for immigrants brought to the country as children is showing a potential divide. <laughs> well, I would ask the people that were celebrating in front of the White House with signs that said Gracias Presidente Obama if they thought they got amnesty. suggest that he should have done it sooner. Uh, others uh, would suggest that maybe he didn't go far enough. It'll affect approximately 5 million people in this country. It will provide a certain sense of, of, um, of legality, uh, of, of, um, of certainty, but it's good for the economy. These are fo folks now who can confident go confidently go into the workforce in a legal fashion. The U.S. is within the global economy. We have other ways to import foreign talent, but I see especially a tragic situation for those families that came here. And I came here for my education. I want to become an engineer. I want to work for NASA. I guess I've always liked technology. I've always liked computers, machines, building things with my hands. It's important for the U.S. that those people join the labor force. We're hard workers and Hispanics have always been hard workers. All the food in America comes from immigrants because no American wants to work hard in such a low pay. It's not the same to access the U.S. labor market than to access some other markets. Their earnings will go down in other countries outside the U.S. These are jobs that a lot of people in this country simply don't want. These are jobs that folks here in this country are not interested in filling whether it's in the agricultural sector of our economy or in the tourism sector. The president was kind of cornered into this position because of Congress's inaction, and Congress just hasn't been able to address this issue appropriately, so he felt that he needed to do what was in what, whatever was in his power. Our goal here is to fund the Department of Homeland Security. On our, our second goal is to stop the president uh, executive overreach. Now, this is not the way our government was intended to work. The president said 22 times that he didn't have the authority to do what he eventually did. There, there's, there's two and possibly more sides to every argument. Yes, there, there are folks who think that anybody who is in this country illegally or who has a Spanish surname should go back. I mean, let's, let's be honest. Those folks exist. What he's doing is gutting the enforcement um, mechanisms of, of American immigration policy. And it's not going to stop with immigration. It's going to put working Americans at a greater disadvantage than they already are. Uh, basically, he's dictating policies. He is dictating policies here because, you know, he is not going through the constitutional system. He, he said that he's not an emperor. Um, and, you know, now he is doing precisely what he said he didn't have the authority to we now spend more annually on the Border Patrol and immigration enforcement than we do on the FBI, Secret Service, ATF, U.S. Marshals. There's others who don't see it, don't see it as, a, as a surname issue, but more about a legality issue. And listen, to a certain extent, they're right. Laws are meant to be followed. What kind of message are you sending to other folks who may be thinking of leaving their homeland and coming to the United States illegally. Granted, what Obama did only grants relief to these five million and kind of draws the line there, but lines always move, right? He, draw, he drew the line at five million, but who's to say a president 10 years down the line doesn't move the line again? Just like Reagan did in the 80s, Obama did now, and another president could do in the future. So The facts are on our side. I think you can, you know, the studies have shown that uh, you know, over time, immigrants aren't lowering wages, but in fact improving the economy and over time boosting wages and jobs for everyone. They don't have to be afraid about uh, whether to declare themselves or not. They don't have to worry about whether they're sending their children to school or whether they can seek health coverage. Uh, they're going to now, they will be legal tax paying members of our society. That is where politically uh, the decision he made can benefit the Democratic Party, whether you're, whether you're, you know, you are of Colombian background, background or 
or from Nicaragua, or from Venezuela, whatever the case may be, they may be more likely to vote for a Democratic candidate. And every year, you see more and more young people whose parents may be here illegally having the opportunity to take advantage of this and, and getting themselves a good education. Since the bill has passed, undocumented students are not going to be able to actually en enroll into school and pay tuition, a lot more money going into the school. That's what we need. People want to learn, want to get educated and help out the economy, help out their family and just build a better life. You would hope that the dreamers who had a financial obstacle, right, and who perhaps were not eligible for other important programs like a Pell Grant or a Bright Future Scholarship, or whatever the case may be, people are now taking full advantage of this and are pursuing higher education, helping legalize somebody's status, helping them feel secure about where they're at, especially if they've been here for many years, especially if they have children here in this country, but that allows them now to go and start becoming taxpayers. I think all in all, it's a, it's a positive thing. Now, securing the borders, making sure that you know we're tough on illegal, all that, all that is a proper balance to make sure that if you're drawing the line, you don't have to continue to move that line sometime in the future.